Hello. End of January 2024. Still here. Still on Mother Earth. Watching the planets. I have today the birth chart of the U.S. of A. A freeze frame of time. At that moment, 1776, when this country started. Many faces, but one of the more predominant ones is Cancer. July 4th birth, of course, Cancer, Sun. And the deep inner part of self is always the Sun sign. So the Sun was in Cancer, Mercury was in Cancer, the Jupiter was in Cancer, and Venus was in Cancer. That's a lot of energy focused on that one sign. And Jupiter was conjunct the Sun which always enlarges the qualities, the traits of the sign. So the Cancer qualities and the Cancer traits are very much exaggerated here by Jupiter being conjunct the Sun. What are these Cancer traits? Nurturing, the urge to nurture and take care of. Very, very self-protective. Easily offended. At best, nurturing. At best, mothering, taking care of others in a nurturing way. If we look in, back in history, there was a time when the progressed sun, which moves one degree for each year of our lives, including a country, the progressed sun had shifted slowly forward and was in the ninth house in the sign Virgo, 1825 long time ago. Major immigration taking place from across the Atlantic and the USA was known as the breadbasket of the world at that time. They were providing food for the starving folks in Europe, which of course was the main impetus for them to pick up and start the immigration to the US of A which of course was needing people. The progressed sun, interestingly enough, entered Libra, the sign of peace and war, just as the Civil War started. With Mercury in Cancer, we know that there's a great deal of Cancer type thinking going on, not a lot of logic and reason based thinking, decision making, but emotion based, feeling based. Cancer takes care of the details in a business. Cancer takes care of what's going on. And nurturing, again, parenting. With Saturn in the 10th house, we've got a strong urge to be the policeman of the world. And Saturn was squaring the sun in this birth chart, which indicates a natural defensiveness along with the cancer traits being exaggerated of self-protectiveness, possibly making for reason behind the extreme open laws regarding guns. Of course, the Aquarian moon has something to do with that. We've got two different factions of energy showing here. All this cancer energy, which might be the Republicans, it's one point in history anyway, Cancer is traditional and it's conservative and again takes care of facts, Kate takes care of the the details in a business whereas the moon in Aquarius is all about freedoms, extreme perspectives on freedoms and the need to be able to do whatever one wishes to do is a very intellectual energy, certainly might be reflective of the Democrats. So we've got also a, an ascending sign involved in these three things, the moon, the sun, and the ascending sign. These three key points tell us who an individual is, and they certainly tell us about a country. The ascending sign is how the person or the country interacts with others, the projection of self outward. Here we see Sagittarius, preoccupied with freedoms. Wanting to be where the action is. Of 
course, pushing their version of freedom. There's not a consistency in the science Sagittarius, and possibly there is not long-term commitment easily coming here. Powerful, powerful money houses. The second house and the eighth house in any chart are the two money houses. And the USA shows very powerful energy in these two houses. Pluto, the planet of life and death, sitting here in the house of income and financial reflection of the country. So this is where the power source is. Eighth house, other people's money, other people's resources. There are oppositions in the birth chart between Pluto, the Moon, and the Sun, and Mercury, these eighth and second houses. And that requires a whole video to talk about the finances of the US of A, a very dominant part, of course, of who they are. They also have a very powerful seventh house, which is the house of war. It's the house of peace and war, but predominantly in a country's chart, it's the house of war. With Mars sitting right on the cusp, the planet of war. Uranus, the planet of sudden change and explosive energy. Again, right on the doorway to the house of war. A lot of energy in this house. I'll be doing another video just on the USA and war. Historically, some dates and some future transits of significance I see coming. So what's going on now? What's going on now with the transits? Well, this is where the major transits are traveling. Pluto returned to its original position during the last three years, a very slow mover, 250 years to make this one cycle and complete it. In 22 and 23 was when this first happened, and it manifested exactly at the time when the U.S. was demonstrating their power in the events of war, which I presume they have done many times historically. This is where the power base is. This is where the power comes through. In 22 and 23, when Pluto was precisely conjunct its own birth position, the Russian money was confiscated that was invested in the U.S., in Britain, any place where the U.S. has power, boom, that money was taken and seized. And it's still in that limbo. This was exactly when the Ukraine war started. Money power. This country has a huge amount of it. And again, this urge to be the policeman of the world, to be in charge, but also take care of people and be partners with them. So what are the transits are going on? Well, Saturn and Neptune are both traveling in Pisces, of course, for the world in the third house here of this chart. And during these three years that Saturn's in the sign Pisces, we see trines to all these cancer planets, which is very good for partnership in war or partnership in just about anything. Certainly it is a seed energy for growth, for having one's own way and being able to build without too many blocks in the way. But when Saturn moves into Aries, which it will do next, that's 2025, more so 2026, and Neptune is also moving into Aries, Aries is on the cusp, the doorway of their residence, their homeland. Mars is the ruler of Aries. So we have, again, a natural self-defensiveness with Mars ruling the fourth house in the seventh at birth. All of this is activated to a large degree as transiting Saturn and transiting Neptune enter that fourth house. And that will be taking place in 2026. Squares. These two planets will then be forming squares from Aries to Cancer planets. 
That's during 25, more so 26. Jupiter is traveling along with Uranus in the sixth house, the house of employment, the house of work, the house of jobs. And Jupiter will enter the seventh house, and this may be significant because, again, the seventh house is such a powerful house in this chart. Jupiter tends to make things grow and activate the things of the house it's going through. At the end of July this year, Jupiter will enter this seventh house, the house of war, the house of peace and war. Take note what the USA is involved in here at the end of July this year. It then retrogrades back into the sixth in December and re-enters the seventh house in March of 2025, which is interesting timing because that's precisely when Donald Trump has uh, a, a transit of significance. And not a good one. At least it offers tremendous challenge in some regard. Saturn will be try, uh, squaring his birth sun in the March of 2025, and that's when Jupiter re-enters this seventh house. So, so significant things going on in those time periods. This gives some insight into the birth chart. Take care.